welcome for another beautiful class as today i've actually prepared for you a lesson that is going to be a continuation of what is known as the dividend policy that is the policy relating to the payment of dividends and for a particular question which is actually a casne past paper cpa financial management We've been given information relating to a particular farm and we have the earnings per share for the year 2016 is given 6 shillings dividend per share for the year 2015 that is the previous year is given as 2.4 shillings then the target payout ratio is 0 0.6 shilling is 0 0.6 then adjustment rate is 0 0.7 and then we have been told Using the Lindner model, predict the dividend per share for the year ended 31st December 2016. Now, here we are being told to use the Lindner model, which is actually one of the models that is normally used to determine the dividend, dividend payout in a particular year. So, when you talk about the Lindner model, we are referring to a module for determining the optimal dividend policy for a farm. That is, it's used to determine the amount of dividend payout for a particular farm at a particular period. Then, for this particular module, it focuses on two major factors. And one, you talk about the farm's target payout ratio. As in, what does the farm or what does this particular company target to give out as payment of dividends? And you find out that this target payout ratio will normally depend on the earnings. In other words, as the earnings for this particular business or farm increases, the payout ratio is also expected to increase. The other factor is adjustment rate. As much as this particular farm is trying to anticipate or is trying to target some particular ratio to be paid into the dividends, we talk about adjustment rate as the speed at which the current dividends adjust to the target. Remember, we have a target in the future, but the current is being paid today. So it means that these dividends which are paid at this particular moment, there is a speed at which they are trying to, uh, to grow to the future target of these particular dividends. Like we have been told to predict the dividend per share for the year ended 31st, December 2016. So essentially, using the linear models, we use this formula and we normally have the dividend per share, the dividend payout for this particular current year is supposed to be given by the dividend which was paid in the year which just ended and in this case it is 2015 as compared to 2016 which is supposed to be added to the earnings per share in the current year multiplied by the target payout ratio. So multiply the target payout ratio which after that we minus the dividend which was paid out in the year which just ended and everything is multiplied by the adjustment the adjustment rate or adjustment factor so for our particular case we are going to see which particulars that we have in our equation like we have earnings per share for the year 2016. 
So we have our earnings per share is given as six shillings. And then we have dividends per share for the year 2015, which is the previous year. So dividend per share for the 2015, actually the year which we just ended is supposed to be 2.4 shillings. So D naught is supposed to be 2.4 shillings. Then you have the target payout ratio. The target payout ratio is given as 0 0.6. And finally, we have adjustment rate. The adjustment factor rate is given as 0 0.7. So we are basically going to replace, or we are going to uh, indicate as per the equation here by dividend in the current year is supposed to be given by these 2.4 plus earnings per share which is 6 times the target payout ratio which is 0 0.6 minus dividend paid in the current year to multiply everything by the adjustment rate which is 0 0.7 so here we have 2.4 plus so we have 0 0.6 times 6 minus 2.4 we get 1.2 times 0 0.7 we get uh, 0 0.84 so 0 0.84 when we add it to the dividend payout in the current year which is plus this is supposed to be 0 0.84 plus 2.4 we get a value of 3 3.24 shillings so this is the dividend which is supposed to be paid in the year just at the 2016 and what this was actually the target as per the litmus model thank you Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos.